It's November 13th, 2022. Hell of a first semester. Mm, I feel out of place here. <laughs> I'll, I'll stick through it, but uh, yeah, I feel out of place. And I'm realizing that I don't think I'm gonna be at college next year. <laughs> Which I didn't want, like I don't want to not go to school. Um, Cause I know it makes my life harder not to, but it doesn't feel right in my heart and I can't, I cannot deny that. It's kind of a sinking feeling. So I really hope this would be a good place for me. It actually doesn't feel good. It's not like, yay, I'm not gonna go to college. It's like, uh, okay. Progress. I actually don't have that many things. It's kind of crazy thinking that, uh, let me turn this on. This is one of the last, not one of the last times I'll, I'll be going, but one of the few times. Last few times, few times, la nah. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> It'll be cool. Wait, push. <laughs> is beautiful. I'm seated here. It's one of my last meals here. You know, some things there aren't like, uh, there aren't always like rules or templates for how to live. What are you supposed to do in your last days of college? I don't know, it's up to you. What do you want? I guess I just gotta reflect more upon that. I don't know, I'm seeing people, I'm saying goodbye, but I think I, I struggle with this often. It's this notion or idea, like how do I extract the most out of this? You know, if I'm somewhere beautiful, I'm, I feel this pressure and anxiety, like I need to film it all. I need to get all the right shots and ah, I need to like soak it all up because this is so good. This is so amazing. Um, and I think oftentimes it takes away from actually being there and living it because you feel like you have to take the most out of it. But that's the best way I can describe it, I guess. Yeah. Oh. kind of an interesting philosophical question of when you're moving out of a space whether it's like a physical mental relationship there's still space that like part of you is in where do you start moving out you start taking things off the wall you start taking things out of the drawers where do you start packing up when it's time to go? So good. The car has a lot more trunk space than I thought. And I have fewer things than I thought. So I guess it kind of works out well. I'm too small for this world. I believe it. I'm too small for this world. I can see it clear, tracing lines in the sand like an insect. 
Reach with trembling hands Need some energy But in this heart of mine Is a small divine Tries to give me signs But I can't figure it out No No, 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 no oh, I'm too small for this world 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 This world This world Oh, I'm too small for this world Oh, 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 oh Oh, I'm too Where do I start? Where do I start? <clears throat> well, here we go. It's February 8th. And I knew I wanted to leave from the second I stepped into school. Or I knew that I would. <laughs> but I'm glad I gave it a shot. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? How you doing? Yeah. So I'm Donovan, I'm a drum center advisor, I hope I can help you today. It's a, it's a survey, basically, uh, so you just fill out the withdrawal survey, uh, but it's a pretty common thing as well. I, I assume you're probably trying to do like an internship or something like that during your... During your um... Yeah, working on some business related stuff, yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. Thank you so much, appreciate your time. Yeah, of course, you have the rest of your day. You too, bye. What are you talking to me? Sixteen nuts by the minute I'm all out of energy Of energy What have you done to me? Both these times in the shower Invading my privacy My privacy Another day of travel, and we back at school. One of the last times I'm making a trip back here before I'm gone, forever. 
I have to pee so bad. Uh, yeah, it's nine o'clock, so I'm kind of tired. You know, flying in the daytime makes a whole world of difference. I gotta stop like trying to save money with these like 6 a.m. flights because I'm like, oh, it's just six. I wake up early. But that means like waking up at three to get to the airport. Something to be explored there. Okay, I have to, I have to pee. This probably won't go on the internet. I don't know, my soul just like, like everything about college, if you tally it up, seems incredible. There's free food, there's education, not free food, it's not free. Um, or meals are made for you, there's a gym there, there's education, there's people your age. So to not have it feel right is such a, it's such a, not like shattering, but like, it like really, I guess like, rattles you it's rattling me it has rattled me because how could you complain or how could it not be right how could it not fit how could it not work like what does that mean is that what does that say about myself you know am i just i think sometimes i've questioned like am i just not good at socializing am i just like weird i think i'm normal but i'm just like weird <laughs> I just don't get it, like I just can't connect with people. And then I do connect with people and then I kind of prove myself wrong there. And I'm like, why have I not connected with like anyone here? Like like one person like really that I've got along with? So then I'm like, did I just go to the completely wrong school? Cause it's shocking. And I feel like I tried really hard to go out there and to meet people and join clubs and I guess I could have done more, but here I am. So, just wasn't meant to be, I guess. It was good to get closure on it. To see my life, how it could have been, I suppose. I should go to bed. It's like weird to feel the space. One more night here before I go forever. Probably never be in this space again. Never touch this again. Never put anything up on that wall again. It's like a breakup. Breaking up with this room. June 9th, 2023. Made a lot of progress in this past year without realizing. Started the businesses that I've always wanted to start. Accidentally, two of them. I only thought I wanted one. <laughs> Something I set out to do in this year was to try to balance school and business. Which I think still can be done and I did. But I think ultimately it led to me realizing that business can be equally 
an educator for yourself and a way to find community. You know, everything I was looking to find in college, I ended up finding in these businesses. I've met so many incredible people, I've learned so much, and I want to continue to learn, but in a different way. And I think that is what is so exciting about <clears throat> the next chapter, the next phase of my life, is that it really goes back into my own hands fully to a, to a degree of where I'm removing all structure, all support, all institutions, and it's up to me to self-educate. You know, how do I want to live the rest of my life? It's all open now. There's no more guardrails or things I should be doing. I'm off the train. But I think there's the fear, the only fear I have is just like, what does self-education look like? And I think that's the next great chapter and journey. Um, I think this is the only thing that will be more difficult to find. Like, what does education look like after school? And I think like, maybe some of the feedback, I think people... A criticism I've got with this decision is, you know, how are you going to learn? And you know, those three three years that you're going to miss out, you're going to, you could have learned so much in that period of time. Um, and it feels like to some people they view these three years as being absent and it means I will never learn ever again. And I think it's the opposite. I think by leaving early, I'm able to create intention to be metaphorically in college forever, to learn forever, to be a lifelong learner. Um, but I think that's a choice, regardless of school or not. I don't think you need school to learn. But I think for specific knowledge, you know, and those type of things, it is so valuable. And so I think that is like one of the downfalls of my decision is that I don't, I'm not in an environment that is fully catered towards educational learning to the same degree. And I think that's why school is so incredible and so important for so many people. I actually think I've opened up Pandora's box where that just can't, it just doesn't, work for me for where I'm at in my life. Like it would have been great, it would have been great in another life, you know? That's just not what my you know, path was supposed to be. You know? These businesses kind of have shut down that future in a way. Because the opportunity is now. You know, the iron is hot, I have to strike, it feels right, I need to see it through. Or else I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. And I know I would regret it. And so that's just like the fact of the matter it is where I'm at. But I think there's a way to be worldly, to be educated, and to have a conscious place in the world. Yeah, again, without school, I think I can still find that. And that, would, that is like my only question that I have with myself that is still to be determined. You know, I think it's much bigger of a question, you know, outside of school and college. It's such a short period of your life in, in, in total, but I think these larger questions are really exciting. And I don't think there's always space to ask yourself those questions in school. Um, I have a lot of critiques as well. I'll <laughs> save that for another video, but um, yeah, I'm excited to learn forever. Excited to live out in the world. Take off the training wheels. I'm ready to fall, you know, if, that, if that's what it means. Yeah, I guess I don't even know who I'm talking to in this video. Like, I think I'm filming it for myself even to look back upon, just to kind of see where I'm at and document it. I don't really know what video this fits into or if I want to post it or I don't, I don't even know. But um, yeah, I guess even with my videos, this is like a note to myself. I really don't want to glamorize this. <laughs> Funny enough, I kind of went into going to college or the decision to go to college to try to show that both can be done. I wanted to prove that you can do business and you can do school, and they both complement each other. But I think they compl complemented each other to such a degree that the business just scaled so fast that I like have to like pay attention to it now. Um, I think I've tried to be very conscious of how I portray the college experience, because I think very often people portray it as this magical period of time, and that is not everyone's experience. And I think I've told stories about the college experience that haven't really been told before, or told in the way I've told them. Does that make sense? <laughs> you know, I think there's a lot of college vlogs, but not a lot of college films that dissect complex emotions that I think a lot of people feel. And I'm proud of myself for telling those stories. And I want to continue to tell stories like that that aren't often told. And, um, I think, I don't know how I 
want to share this decision with the world or if I want to or if I'm going to wait for a while because I want to do it right. And I think because of that, I think why I want to do it right, do it as in like share my decision to not continue my college education. I want to be conscious of my responsibility and not glamorizing the dropout story, which I think is often glamorized. I think school is so important for so many people. It didn't quite click for me, but that doesn't mean it won't click for you. And I think it is a great incubator. It is so, you know, it is one of the most incredible opportunities to learn, um, to meet incredible people, to be inspired, to have the opportunity to learn and to hopefully not have that many distractions that the real world will give you. If used properly, college can be one of the most incredible opportunities. But I also see a lot of people not using it in the right way or not extracting the most out of it. And there's no judgment. Yeah, I don't want people to watch this video and be like, okay, I'm gonna drop out too. Like I actually don't really advocate for that at all. I think it's a last, like a worst case scenario. Like if you have the right opportunity to come up, again, it doesn't also have to be extreme. Like you could go back, um, you could take a year off, you could take a gap semester off. You don't have to make decisions uh, that are irreversible as well. You know, I think we often talk about dropping out but not stories about people how do I this? stories about people taking a year off to pursue a passion or a business or to travel aren't as glamorized as people dropping out completely because that's a sexier story. He dropped out, he went all in. You know, there's always space to take time off. I took a gap year after high school and it was one of the most incredible decisions that allowed me to have more intention with continuing my education. Um, and it changed my life completely for the better. You know, by stepping off what people traditionally do, people will raise an eyebrow to it. They're like, why are you doing that? Um, it'll make my life difficult in more ways and I accept whatever, you know, shortcomings or hardcomings there are with that. I'm okay with that. But uh, that is my decision. Um, and so I guess ultimately, I didn't feel fully like myself here. And uh, I didn't feel like the optimistic person you might have been watching for the past couple of years. Didn't feel my spark. I felt like it got crushed and I felt more stressed than I wanted to. I felt stressed about learning. I felt stressed about showing up and it's not to say you should escape negative emotions, but I don't think learning should be stressful. I don't like the way, it's just the way things were taught here didn't 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 work for me and it ended up making me not feel great and I think if you don't feel great for a continuous period of time you should make a change my change is more extreme if I didn't have these other businesses going and being successful and if I wasn't able to make you know more enough more than enough of a full-time income um, I would definitely not or I would consider these decisions from a completely different perspective you know I have a very easy leap off because these businesses that I'm running and everything I'm doing I'm able to make you know more than I would have if I didn't have them and I was leaving college and getting a job if that makes sense like I'm making money I can survive that changes the, the, the decision making as well it's not like I'm dropping off the deep end and it's like what are you doing what I've often heard is that sophomore year is a lot better than freshman year and I wish I could have experienced that growth and seen the story through it just wasn't meant to be for me and that's okay um, but uh, again, that's why I want to be careful with how I end up sharing the story because I don't want people to connect with what I'm saying and make decisions based off of that line of thinking because it might I might not be painting the full picture here because I think it's impossible to give the full context through the internet. That's just the reality. Um, there's so many other parts of my life that I've never shown and it's just hard to explain or other things. and. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's a lot of factors that go into this decision and I've been thinking about it for probably four or five years before I even got to school. You know, that wasn't even the plan, you know, the plan wasn't really to go to school at all. So I did it, but now I can close that chapter and with closure, close it with closure. And I feel good about that. I feel excited to tackle the world and to feel more like myself again and be around the people that make me feel like myself and be environments that get me excited and 
feel like I can really have an impact and make the change I want to make in this world. What was I saying? Oh yeah, like fears, predictions. I mean, I'm going to be around incredible people, but I think it's going to be difficult as well. You know, managing friendships, relationships, like business is rough. It is hard. It's like so raw. It's so human. I'm going to be in the trenches with these people, like crazy highs and lows, but I'm so excited to do that because you're alive. You know, you're so alive. Even if it is so difficult, I'd rather I'd rather do that than not do it at all. And I think that's how I want to approach my life. I'm optimistic about humans, about people, about experiences, about learning, about failing. And same with athletics. Like, you have high highs and low lows, but it feels so meaningful. Um, you get injured, you have a PR. There's so much complexity and emotions felt. And I just want to feel, I don't want to numb myself in this world. I think we live in a world today that, where it's so easy to numb yourself. And I see it around me all the time. And it quite frankly scares me. You know, you can really numb yourself and hide yourself in the world and not feel and be connected to things in the earth around you and observe people, things, nature. I think that's really all you have as a human if you strip everything else away is your observation and interpretation of the world around you. And it's really your relationship that with the world that guides your experience in your life. Which kind of goes back to the core of everything that this channel has always been about, which is my optimistic perspective on things. Um, I think everyone can have that. And I, I don't think optimism means toxic positivity to a point where it neglects realism. You know, I f can feel pretty horrible sometimes. And I think I've tried to document some of those moments, not all of them, but uh, yeah. I don't want to portray this again as like, I'm gonna drop out and everything's gonna be great. I'm gonna make a lot of money and travel the world and be around cool people. Like, yes, some of that could be true. But there's gonna be a whole other side that is very difficult. <laughs> you know, I'm prepared for that. You know, if I were to stay in college another year, or even finish it out, I think it scares me because it feels easy. I don't feel pushed. Like this business stuff, <sighs> so humbling so difficult i learned i am learning so much about myself and it is so raw but there's something about that that really attracts me to it yeah i think that's why i feel gravitated towards it but i need to give it a lot more time and commitment than i'm able to now because i feel like i'm just split in two um so yeah this decision isn't like uh there's so a lot of confidence behind it and there's a lot of trust i often talk about I knew saying that I've, I don't know if I fully created it, who knows anymore, but uh, it clicked and what I said is I'm having a blind trust fall with myself. You know, I have to have a blind trust fall with myself, you know. The journey of the rest of my life is here. I feel like I'm there, you know, I'm 20. I have like 80 years maybe hopefully left. My life's an experiment. Um, and I think that's the beauty is that often people who drop out get scrutinized or questioned and. I'm not here to say this is the best decision or the right decision or something that you should follow, but I think you could observe my decisions and um, think about them. You know, this isn't really to advocate for anything. It's more of a, to ask more questions, to poke more questions, maybe have you reflect about different parts of your life, how you want to continue to educate yourself, how you want to live in this world, how you want to Think about the rest of your life and your relationship with it. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm speaking to the people who uh, like have this imaginary backlash of, I know there'll be, you know, like a hundred comments of like, you're going to regret this. You're naive. You're this or that. I'm like, whatever, you know, I'm just here to share and I'm not here to portray me as a perfect human being who always makes the right decisions. I'm here to say that I'm flawed. I make mistakes. I will continue to make mistakes, but I also continue to do great things. And this is the decision that I'm making for myself. And that's it. There's nothing else really. I guess I also have like a, maybe a little bit of a fear in me of always feeling like I have to justify my decisions or explain things. And I, I guess I kind of get tired of explaining a lot. Um, 
but I don't want my decisions to be misinterpreted. I think I have a fear of that as well. And so that's part of my fear in releasing this decision, is it being misinterpreted. Um, so hopefully, I don't know, I can't control it. And I think it's, but again, I don't want to shy away from criticism, not criticism, but like the other perspectives. I guess I've just thought about them for so long and I've gotten them from parents, friends. Like, I feel like I fully see every part of the situation. I'm, I already know like the fears that people have and I agree with it, you know? So I don't want to feel like I have to justify it because I know there are downsides to this decision. It's just that I've made it <laughs> and it's over and that is that. So I don't want the discussion to be about that. I don't want that to be the purpose of this video. Like, what about this happens, or what if this happens, or 